hello friend in this video lecture i am going to discuss what how to uh, fix forget to activate a virtual environment so if i go on this so here on visual studio so here let's uh, uh, right click on the project and uh, here python and uh, when i am trying to create a virtual so here i am getting uh, this error import could not import Django and uh, i lost uh, did you forget to activate the virtual environment so how do we fix uh, that issue? So first uh, here let's open the command prompt. And here you need to do one thing. Go, let's uh, go where the project is. Control C to copy. And uh, let's uh, change the directory. Paste. So here the file name directory volume. why this uh, error it's uh, displaying cd okay we need to include c now press enter so directly that has changed now here after we need to copy this uh, locate uh, pip install or requirement for txt and press enter so press enter and here collecting disango from this using cas uh, disango 7.5 MB that uh, required and uh, here it will take some time to complete this all process now oh, here you can see after doing go uh, uh, so many process here or uh, people install or uh, this install successfully requirement txt now here after the next is so let's try once again create a uh, python and uh, super user so here this is executing manager py I scroll down so let's close first and try once again so this is a still a problem is there right click on it add environment once again and uh, here this is our processing so I'm going to create a new environment. So let's uh, select Python 3.7 and now click on create. Here you can see requirement text was installed successfully after waiting few seconds. If I go up here you can see this uh, environment variable created on this uh, location and uh, here this is uh, all detail up created so it's uh, now here after new environment env you can see this all contents are there now next is when i'm trying to create once again a super user so here you can see executing minus dot py create super user so it's uh, executing we need to wait a uh, few seconds now here you can see this time there is no any problem related with the uh, forget to activate virtual environment now here you need to give the username so let's uh, give the username hp1 and uh, email that not required password give now press enter and why so super user created successfully so this is the way we can fix that issue so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you